Go and sing one of CK preparing for war, wearing bulletproof vest. What had the CP said? Chidro Kehun was saying. Exactly. So what had the CP said? They are declaring uh, General Sabuja wanted. Now we see uh, one of CK wearing bulletproof. Okay. How did he get bulletproof vest to wear and have his clothes to cover it? And the CP did not see anything wrong in that because he's working for Wiki University. Eh? I just like what somebody said in the comment last time. The president is a Yoruba man. The inspector general of police is a Yoruba man. The commissioner of police River State is a Yoruba man. So what do you get? Yoruba is taking over River State uh, using Wiki's head. And Wiki take is smart. Quite unfortunate. So Chiro Kehumo has challenged the CP. Okay, before you declare anybody wanted, what did you do when Wana Siki was preparing for war and wearing bulletproof vest to come out? Hmm? So Chido Kehumo, the chairman of the National Youth Council of Nigeria for River State, has raised concerns over the ongoing conflict involving 21 local government areas of River State and their chairman who have refused to vacate their offices after the attempts expired on June 17, 2024. Ihuwo specifically pointed out Samuel Wanasike, the outgoing chairman of Ikuri local government area, who was allegedly seen wearing a bulletproof vest, suggesting a preparation for violent confrontation. Ihuwo urged the commissioner of police to address this worrisome situation promptly to prevent potential violence. Exactly. And the same commissioner of police is throwing away his face from that and declaring uh, General Asabuja wanted, huh? or rather declaring Fubara supporters wanted. So in a video shared by TBC, Ihungo called for immediate action from the commissioner of police to handle those instigating trouble, including the outgoing chairman of a local government area, that is Chidi Lloyd. So he stressed that the tenor of these officials uh, you know, have concluded and questioned their refusal to leave office. Expressing his alarm, who was stated, go and see Sam Ogano CK preparing for war, wearing a bulletproof vest. What has the CP said about that? Eh? Has he gone there? His remarks underscores the urgent need for intervention from the law, okay, from law enforcement agent to ensure a peaceful transition of power and to maintain law and order in the affected local government uh, areas. Yeah, so the and that's a very big question for the commissioner of police. We are declaring General Sabuja wanted. We are declaring Fubara supporters wanted. But look at one of CK insulting the governor. Nothing has happened. Wearing bulletproof vest, showing that he's preparing for war. Nothing has happened. But for Fubara supporters, you are beginning to chase them to arrest them. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? And that is why Ihumo, all right, is now telling the commissioner of police, look, go and hold um, Manosiki, who have been who we have seen wearing bulletproof vest and we don't know what he's going to do with it meaning that he's preparing for war that is what it means he's preparing for war and so there are a few comments here uh let me see somebody said this boy doesn't have respect for elders he talks anyhow because he wants to be local government chairman please respect your elders so you can live long who are you talking to are you talking to uh uh, are you talking to to Ihungo or you are talking to Wanosike who don't understand? Who is the elder here and who is not? Eh? Alright, somebody saying the one your Fubara brought from Ijo, who is threatening Pepunko? Eh? Who did the Fubara bring from Ijo? This General Sabuja, Gabriel Sabuja. But look at what Wiki Ihungo and his people are doing in River State. And who will keep quiet? I'm telling you, there's a reason all those job forces are rising up for Fubara. Because the way it is, uh, the, if they are not there, they will crush Fubara because Fubara is not a violent person. Fubara has shown and proven that he is not a violent person. But the question is, how will he survive without people supporting him? 
So I'm sure people have told him, don't worry, nothing will happen. We are behind you. We will fight this fight. We will get Mickey off the way and all these people because their own is getting too much. So they have to be careful because just like what happened in Warri some years ago, I think that was about 1993, 94. Was it 1993, 94 or even after then? Where we had the joint security war. Okay, it was 95, 96, 97. Where we had the joint security war in Warri. And it was a serious one. Meanwhile, they normally Tamario. Eh? So that is what is about to happen now in Port Harcourt. The war I see is between the Ijaws and the Equerries. And it's going to be very difficult because the Ijaws will overrun the Equerries and overrun Port Harcourt in case of taking. When the things start, everybody, people go wrong. Eh? People go wrong. So the thing here is that Ihungo is asking uh, CP. With all this is happening, one of CK is preparing for war. One of CK is ready a uh, bulletproof vest. One of CK is insulting the governor. What have you said about it? What did you do about it? Nothing. But rather, you are beginning to declare Fubara supporters wanted. Even though Fubara has warned the commissioner of police that none of his supporters should be arrested without contacting him first. So, the way it is now, Fubara supporters need to be very careful. But even at that, Fubara himself also needs to be very careful. But the Commission of Police must answer this question. You cannot declare Fubara supporters wanted. Meanwhile, wicked supporters are there, you know, uh, instigating violence by the day. And you haven't said anything about it. So, and that is why Ihumo is asking. You saw this guy, Wangan CK, wearing bulletproof inside his clothes. What did you do about it? What did you say about it? How did you get bulletproof vests to wear? We don't know. But you are declaring... Uh, football supporters wanted in River State. How long will this injustice continue to be? So I think they all need to be very careful. They need to know that River State is a very volatile state. Anyhow, if they do anyhow for them, they go say anyhow. If anything happens in River State, it will become a Niger Delta problem. Already, the Niger Delta militants have warned that they are regrouping, okay, and they are warned that if anything happens in River State, if they turn it, even if they they, they generate um, state of emergency in River State, let them be sure and let them know that it's going to be a the whole Niger Delta affair. So it means that other states in the Niger Delta will join the battle and it's not going to be a joke. The ex militants are there. Um, so if somebody like uh, General Gabriel Sabuja and uh, Asari Dokubo are already declaring support for, uh, for Fubara, who are the people that will declare support for wicked apart from the inquiries? And I will say the thing not go easy, I tell you. And that means it might get to a point where huh, everything in River State will ground. But they just have to be careful and manage it. Thank you for listening to the comments.